In this video, I'm gonna show you the basics of using a green screen in Final Cut Pro. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing if you're into Final Cut or filmmaking. Now, as mentioned, I'm gonna show you the basics of green screen editing. You know, how do you bring a bit of footage in? How do you select it so the green background disappears? All of that kind of stuff. This is gonna be a basics tutorial. So let's jump in. Okay, so we have jumped into Final Cut. And what I wanna do is just show you the quick way of using a green screen. I know a lot of you have asked me about this. So I'm only gonna show you the basics today, just how you can quickly do it. So what I've done, and if you wanna do the same as me and just play around with some footage I recommend to check out ArtGrid because you can actually download some green screen footage so if you're thinking about doing green screen work but you don't have the gear you can download these clips and play around with them in Final Cut Pro first so I've got this shot here of these uh, two actors I've also got a shot here of uh, this woman with a flowy dress and then we've got this computer screen with a little bit of movement movement and I'll show you how you can then actually green screen onto other objects which is really really cool uh, and you can do this just by displaying green on one of your monitors so essentially how do you add green screen how do you add that effect well what we're going to do first is we're just going to drag this couple over top of this shot of um the capitol building in america i think it is so let's have a look here yeah so we've got this shot here and as you can see we've got the green that we want to get rid of so how do you get rid of that all you need to do is go down to your effects and type in kia at the bottom here and simply drag and drop Kia on top of this clip. Now Final Cut does a really good job out of the box at doing this. So if we play this back through now, you can see the green background has been keyed out. Now, of course, you will need to do some color correction to get this kind of looking right. But what's great about this kind of effect is if I drag it over here to the left hand side, you can get some really nice effects if you're trying to do like a corny music video you can add these kind of things in you can green screen to whatever you want now i've got this other clip here of this woman with a flowy dress and i picked this because even though it's a quite well done shot of some green screen um, you can see there's some different colors here and it may cause some issues so if we drag the kia onto here um, it actually doesn't look too bad i'm just going to drag this out whoops we've got this on distort let's take this off going to drag this out so it fits the scene what you can do if you do have an image like this and again this isn't as bad I thought it may play a little bit worse than this um, you can go to your effects here on the right hand side and you can sample color so down here I can see there is a little bit more shadow I'd recommend changing the view here to to matte and as you can see it's actually okay but sometimes you will end up with little green patches if your lighting isn't very good so i'd recommend changing your view to this because this will show you just in black and white which in white what will be displayed and in black which will be uh, kind of see-through so you can play around with that you can also go and fill holes so if you look at the hair area up there you can see it's actually done a good job but if you wanted to fill that in for any reason you could do that and that will make that a block color there which in this case makes it worse but in some some cases you will want to change that so have a play around with that you've also got the edge distance that you can play around with and the spill level so the spill level adjusts kind of the color contrast because obviously if you're filming in a green room and you're using light you are going to get some of that green reflected onto different surfaces and you can see that if you look clearly at the dress it does have a green tinge to it so you can change this spill level and just I would bring it up to you know if you bring it down it makes it more green bring it up a little bit and that will help with some of the spill that you have onto your objects so that's pretty cool so if we now drag this over here you'll see that this will just play through and uh, we can have the European street scene underneath now of course you may want to stretch your backgrounds out and things like that but that's essentially how you do some green screen now what I want to show you here is almost like an opposite green screen so let's just say you've got this monitor shot here you can do this in the same way so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete that clip there and we're going to drag this over these two city shots here so we wanted to make it look like these people here these security soldiers are actually um, 
looking at something on these monitors. This is like the opposite way around that you can use green screen. And essentially it works the same way. You can use the Kia and you can see there that it now looks like this guy is viewing uh, the photo underneath of the European street scene. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just scale that out a bit so this fits. Transform. Let's just drag that out. There we go. So if we play that, well, not even play it through because this is the next thing. So that works quite well. You can see it looks good. The problem is now if you have a moving shot, it'll be a bit trippy because that won't move in conjunction with the clip underneath it. So you will need to add some um, effects to this clip below. And what you can do is you can hit this distort button here and Final Cut allows you to then distort this clip underneath. Now what I would recommend you do is simply add some keyframes um, if it's a moving shot. So you wanna uh, go in the distort section here And you can see we're adding these keyframes. Now if we move through each shot, and I'm just gonna change this. Like so. And you really wanna do this for every frame, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try just skipping a few frames, adding these in here, dragging these down. Now this won't look perfect because you will need to do it every frame. But just for this quick shot here, let's just see how this looks. I'm gonna add some more keyframes. Add some more keyframes. Doing a very fast job of this, but just to show you. So you can see there, and it's not too bad if you're in a kind of a, if you're with working with some footage like this where it is quite squ square. And if it's a quick clip, you know, you are gonna notice this, so I would recommend spending your time on it. But just to show you, as we zoom out there, the background then moves with the object. So as I say, do that frame by frame. But I just wanted to show you that you can do it with keyframing into your distort to get a really nice effect for your green screen. So if you've got any questions at all about green screen, I might do a more in-depth tutorial um, on the channel here. But I just wanted to run through quickly because I know a lot of you have been asking how do you use green screen within Final Cut Pro. So there we go, that's the basics of using a green screen within Final Cut Pro. I hope that's helped and let me know if you've got any questions below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.